Hi, June Kitte here with Tampa Bay Bodies, and I have been asked to do a little video on working with weights for your upper body. Uh, we're going to start nice and easy with two pound weights. You can go up to five, 10 pounds. I really don't recommend, unless uh, you're really into it, working with uh, more than five to eight pounds. So I am going to step back and I want you to think about before you even start, make sure that you've cleared it with your doctor to do any kind of an exercise program and that you learn to listen to your body. One of the most important things you can do is learning to listen to your body. And if something hurts, you don't do it. That's all there is to it. But write it down so maybe the next time at the doctor you can tell him that you're having trouble with a different movement. So this is basically upper body. So I am going to scooch back here. Okay, so you can see me. Okay, we are going to first learn to stand up straight and tall. Nothing looks worse than walking around like this. Okay, so we're gonna take our shoulders, bring them up toward our ears, and then back and down, trying to get as much length between the shoulders and ears as we can long neck maybe you want to take two fingers put them on your chin pull back your chin till the ears line up with the shoulders now let's scan the body shoulders knees toes properly aligned look down at your feet and make sure they're making an 11 they're nice and straight <sighs> okay now let's focus on our uh on what we're going to be doing with our bicep curls so we're going to make sure that those elbows are locked into the side of the body. The knees are nice and soft. We never want to really lock a joint. So shoulders are back and down, chest lifted, fingers are nice and loose, and we're going to bring those weights up to our shoulders, and then we're going to bring them all the way back and down. And two, and down, and three, and down and four, and down, four more, and down, and three, concentrate on those biceps, two, and down, and last one, and down. Okay, we're going to do flies, so we're going to take those uh, weights, bring them together, and we're going to take them up, to the side, up until their shoulder height, and back down, chest is lifted, tummy's tucked. Two, and down, and three, and down, keep those shoulders away from the ears, nice long neck, four, down, chest lifted, five, down, and six, Two more, seven, and eight, and take it down. Good, you can do eight to 12 reps, whatever you'd like to do. I'm gonna scooch back just a little bit because I'd like you to make goal post arms. Think of a goal post. Again, chest is up, fingertips are nice and loose, chest is lifted, tummy's tucked. We're gonna bring those hands up and over touching the waist, and then bring them down to gold post arms. And two, try to keep the shoulders away from the ears. And three, get your tummy tucked. Do you have a big smile on your face? <laughs> and four, four more, four, and three, Whoa, and two, and one. While we're here we're with these gold post arms, we're gonna bring the arms together and open, and together, and open, and together. Try to get them level with the floor. And four, four more, and four, and three, and two, and last one together, and gold post arms, arms out to your side, 
and bring the weights down. Whew, shake it out. I bet you felt that one, huh? Okay, we're going to take our hands nice in front of our legs. We're going to reach up and bring them down. And two. And down. And three. And down. Four more. And down. Three more. And down. And two. And down. Last one. Can we hold it? And down. Boy, those two pound weights kind of get a little bit heavy after a while, don't they? Shake it out. How you guys doing? You doing okay? Okay. Let's continue on. Back here. Woo. We're going to bend the knees, hinge forward from the hips. I'm going to move this chair out over a little bit. About to hit it. Okay. So we're going to do flies. So our, our uh, waists are together. We're going to bring them out, shoulder height, and our elbows are slightly bent. And two. And down. Open the chest. Three, and down, and four, and down, four more, you could do it, three, and two, and last one, hold it, and down, good job. Again, if you get tired, fatigue, if something hurts, if you have shoulder problems, don't do it, it doesn't matter. It just, what matters is that you're doing something. You're doing something, even standing up, you're doing something. You guys good? <laughs> okay, let me know. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're going to work those triceps. We call them granny wings, we call them angel wings. Uh, you know, all that down here. Trust me, I've been doing this for years, and uh, I'm at that age where, it, I guess it helps, but <laughs> they're never gonna go away. <laughs> so, I'm going to show you from the side, I'm gonna hinge forward from the hip, flat back, one hand goes on the thigh, this hand goes level with the earth. Draw the shoulder away from the ear, and imagine, you know, it's kind of like a pendulum clock, Okay, we're going to take that arm up, palm up, and back down by your side. And two, and down. No swinging. Three, and down. And four, and down. Four more. Three more. Two more. We're going to take that last one, palm up, and we're going to hold it in pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Whew, and take it up. Guess what? We got another side. <laughs> so here I am, back here. Okay, flat back, hinge forward, slight bend in the knees. This hand goes on the thigh. This hand goes up till it's level with the earth, kind of a pendulum swing. You ready? Here we go. Palm up and down. And two. And down. And three. And down. And four. Four more. And four. And three. And two. And last one, we're going to hold it up and we're going to pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and take it down. Whew. Okay, let's put our weights down. Let's shake it out. Whew. Okay, now we're going to take a stretch on everything that we've already worked. So our arms to our side. We're going to take one arm across somewhere between the elbow and shoulder. Press that arm into your body. Keep the shoulder away from the ear. And just kind of stretch. If you want, you might want to rotate the wrist 
one way or the other. You know, you are holding on to those blades, preferably not too tight, and open and close your fingers. And then open up big and wide, open the chest, bring this arm across somewhere between the elbow and the shoulder, press into the, your body, encircle the wrist one direction, and rotate. And maybe open and close your fingers, you know, just whatever you want to do, shake it out. And open, chest is lifted, shoulders back and down, lift up. Let's take those arms behind us, interlock the fingers, rotate the shoulders back and down and open the chest. And then let's release. Let's, uh, you did, oh, you know what? You did a great job. Take one hand, pat yourself on the back, take that elbow, pull it up and back, and stretch out that tricep. We work that tricep. By the way, if you get tired or fatigued, you'll notice it about 24 hours after. So you're not gonna notice it right now, you'll notice it tomorrow about the same time. And bring that arm down, and again, Pat yourself on the back, take that elbow, pull it up and back, and give yourself a nice stretch. Make sure you pick up that rib cage. You're always conscious of standing up straight and tall. Alignment is so important. And take it down. And then take the arms out by the side, palms up, roll the shoulders back and down, and open the chest. And you'll feel your bicep stretching, huh? And then reach up and exhale. And roll the shoulders. And again, you can do eight to 12 reps. Uh, and yeah, preferably at least three times. Wait until the commercials come on and then do your exercises. And uh, pretty soon you'll feel guilty. Watch it looking at those weights <laughs> and not getting up and moving during those commercials. Great time to do uh, some exercises. Again, listen to your doctor, listen to your body. This is an opportunity to learn and listen to your body and just know what's good and what's bad and where you're having your problems. So uh, until the next time, uh, I hope you uh, stay moving and uh, stay blessed and uh, keep that smile on your face. June Fate, Tampa Bay Bodies. Keep on moving.